hemorrhoids. What's going on, Sequoia Nation? Dr. Schilling bringing you today's wellness wisdom, and we're talking about uh, butt beans. What'd you call them? Butt beans. Butt beans. Okay. Well, they're, if they're external, they're butt beans. So hemorrhoids. Um, yeah. So <laughs> thanks to our, one of our participants who mentioned this uh, topic. They were interested in hearing more about it, so we appreciate. It. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it helps us serve you at the highest level, and you know, people often experience these things during tough times. So we're here to give you some appreciation and some understanding of why they happen in the first place. Because if I don't have hemorrhoids, why do you? Okay. So, um, brief public service announcement: If you feel uncomfortable talking about butt stuff, um, we're happy to talk with you about it in a kind, unju- non-judgmental way. <laughs> uh, so give the clinic a call. One of our team members will talk to you about it, and you can feel good about your butt being if you have one. Uh, otherwise. Don't worry, there's nothing shameful about it. There's an understanding we're giving you the, the meaning behind, okay? So this is our take on it. I always try to give this disclaimer. This is how we approach human beings. Clearly there are structural things, you know, if like chronic constipation might push some tissue out, but there's always a reason why it happened in the first place. So let's get back down to that meaning, okay? Um, why are hemorrhoids there? What, what are they? So basically in your rectum, you have what's called a hemorrhoidal plexus, which is a bunch of veins. And the thought is that if you get too big a stool, too big a mass of feces, poop and it, it catches on one of those blood vessels and drags it. It can either lance it, like cut it, and then it can be a painful hemorrhoid and you can bleed out of your rectum, out of your anus, or you can actually drag it outside and through your anus and you have a hangman. That's what Emma was referring to the butt being. So if you don't know what I was referring to, that's what the external one. Um, think about the tail one. Anywhere near the rectum or the anus is all about marking your territory. Now, you know, human beings are a version of animals, leaving all theology and religious things aside. We're all animals. Uh, everybody, everybody eats and everybody poops. So um, the tailbone is about confidence and marking your territory. So if you don't feel like you can, you have a conflict there. And it might show up in the form of a hemorrhoid. Um, I think of hemorrhoids as the, the, the veins distending, like getting spread. And then that's like if the blood's trying to push down through the veins and they end up going back out of the liver and your liver's congested and you're not getting the detoxification ability you need, you might need help there. That's one option as far as that goes. We're, we're touching more on the neuroemotional, but I feel like i got to throw these things in here so you understand somehow biomechanicals, and we talked about the structure a little bit because we try to touch on the, the triad of health. Um, for men, it's like, well, it could be women, I should say. Uh, it could be, who am I in regard to my father? Um, am I, what's my place in society? What's my place in my family? Like, how am I asserting myself? How am I, you know, marking that territory, you know, am I, and marking my territory like cats and dogs do. I mean, human beings don't definitely defecate around to mark their territory anymore, but if you don't have the emotional fortitude to, to have your energy um, precede you as you walk in a room, they can't feel you, then, you know, the feces is another way. Same with peeing, if you will. Um, but there's on the other side of the father's side, it's the mother's side, which is the fear of being abandoned by your mother. Okay, So that can, that can touch on the thread with, with hemorrhoids. So not being able to assert yourself as who you want to be in the, under the shadow of your father or being afraid of being abandoned by your mother. Those are both relevant. And um, another thread is like, <laughs> I don't want to go home because it's a crappy experience, right? It's a shitty, but, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's poopy. It's a poopy experience. So the point is, like, if you don't want to go home because you can't mark your territory there because it's a crappy experience, you're not going to want to go home. You can't mark your territory. All of a sudden, your body has to do something with that energy. It has to push it out somewhere because your brain can't handle that conflict. Okay? So the conflict precedes the illness. The conflict precedes everything. Okay? It's, it's like it didn't cause it, but it precedes it. Okay? So then there might be mechanical stress or some, some other stress. Um, just generally an identity conflict. Like we think about the tailbone as what's my identity? Who do I want to be? Who can I not be because of X, Y, or Z or, or person A, B, and C? Those are both relevant. Um, so tailbone, rectum, confidence, asserting self, um, you know. So if you have one that's bleeding, it's, it's a conflict regarding um, maybe a potential death of a mother, um, the loss of a mother, you know, how do, I, how do I survive without that, that figure in my life, things like that. And so um, if you have it just on the inside, because it's in your rectum, we think of the, the, the colon about relating to dirt, deep down dirty issues, like a filthy issue, like something wrong with me. Like I feel like I'm hiding, I have to hide something about me because something's unsightly about me, something's un, unpleasant about me. And that is likely not true at all, but you might feel that way because of an experience where something tarnished your self-image or your self-esteem based on somebody else's experience. Um, so just think about it that way. 
um, whether it's a crappy experience at home, can't be who you want to be, you don't have the confidence to market territory. These are all threads that relate back to it. So um, that's the emotional connection. So if you like these topics, if you like talking about butt beans and other things like that, which, of course, we joke about it, but we try to make light of it because nobody wants to talk about a hemorrhoid. I mean, good Lord, that's not fun. So we want to make a little bit of fun because we want you to feel more at ease about it. So you, it's, it can make some levity, bring some levity to it. But please share with us what you want to hear about and share with your comments. I mean, we, we get these comments back and forth all the time because people are like, well, you know, it, it sounds like we're denying their story or denying their experience or we're telling them that it's only one cause. But always remember, there's no one thing causes any one thing. This is one thread. This is one part of it. So before you ju jump to conclusions and judgment that I'm saying it's all because of your, your mental health issues, that's not what it's about. It's more about the conflicts in your mind that show up in your body because your body is your subconscious brain. Okay, I'm just going to leave with that. Otherwise, I'm going to talk for a half hour, so we're going to cut it off. You know, shepherd's crook. Here we go because um, these ladies want to go home. All right, so we love you guys. We appreciate the opportunity to serve you, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the Wellness Wisdom. All right, guys, have a good night.